Hey, hello there, and today we are going to colour in our little block, wooden block letter here. So I've got a K for Kimberly, that is my name. So I got these, these are really cool. I come across them as a few in the sale in um, Hobbycraft, I got these. And I really like them, I love the um, the font and the style and everything, I thought, oh, they'd be great. And I thought it'd be really cool as if you give that as a little gift to somebody, maybe it's their initial, um, and you could colour it in, I thought it'd be a really cool little present. Or you could put it on your desk, have it as a desk, like, you know, paperweight tidy, or just, you know, just something funky with your initial. So yeah, so let's get to it, let's get colouring in. So I start off with a bit of silver, back to my Posca pens again, I love, love, love Posca pens, because they are like painting a pen, and it's just the control, you can, you know, colour it in like you can felt it except it um it they can just you can draw them over anything stone outside from your garden or anything they are just amazing so i love posca pens so i started off it's quite late at night this one i started off in, in my jammers and my dressing gown here and i thought right i'm gonna do some groovy nice yeah colors and i'll do a bit of rainbow colors and i'll do some detailing over the silver and the gold that i used uh, i started to be like mm, not a fan of that really so then we, and this is what's good. You can just keep changing this. And this is what's great with Posca pens because you can just keep on changing to whatever you want. So I just thought, do you know what? Just overlay it in a block color. I'm gonna start with all the groovy block colors and then I'll detail on top of that. So yeah, as you can see in the corner, I just colored it over again, start again. <laughs> and, and that's what's great. That's what's great about art. You don't, if you're not quite happy with something. Um, I must admit, I struggle sometimes. Sometimes being a bit too much of a perfectionist, you can, get in the way but no if you think it's not right don't do it so I thought right let's overlay it with different lines but the opposite colors so the yellow going into the green as you can see the green going into the yellow and that type of thing and I thought oh that'd be really cool then obviously do it on the other colors I've done the purple and the pink and the red and all the other colors so I started overlaying with all the different colors and I thought yeah loving the lines so all the different lines and I thought what about if I start doing the hash like crossing hash lines um, like hatch over the opposite way they do the direction and that was coming out really good actually so it's like a bit of sort of yeah cross hatch all over it but in a colorful way so i was really happy with this result then i was like yeah that's the type of colors i want and then to put a bit more detail on the top so then the dots and the things i did in the first place i end up doing that on the top and on the bottom a little bit after that so much much more happy with that result so feel free to have a go at that same way get these are great little letters posca pens at the ready love them and just yeah get color the min initially so you get that nice block color and then as you can see i've did all the lines and then on top of the lines which we'll see in a little bit more detail as you get closer i've also then added dots on the lines and then dots in dots because that is what's so good about the Posca pens. You can just layer it and layer it and layer. Um, let it dry a little bit if it's not layering very well. Um, and then you can start layering again. And as you can see there, along each of the lines, I've just done little subtle dots and then a dot in that dot. And it just gives it a really vibrant, nice sort of like really jazzy look to that letter. So yeah, I'll put this letter, it's on um, my red bubble as well. So if you've got, if your initial or letter is a K for whatever your name might be, um yeah a lot of kylie's and kendall's and everything now isn't there with the kardashians lots of k's about it's kim but um have a little go so yes really good way just a little bit on a bit of paper here just to sort of give an idea so it was literally just um yes just crossing over and cross hatch over in the opposite direction with different random colors and that is what's great about the posca pens because you can do that and then i laid on top with the dots and then on top of that dot, when it like sort of dried, then I put a tiny, tiny, on oh, the Posca pens do come in different sizes, so you can get really big, fat, chunky ones, like big, like massive, big, fat markers, and then you can get like really nice, narrow ones. So that's a good way of layering your dots and things as well, or lines, because you can get a nice, big, fat line, and then if you lay it with a smaller pen, the, the tip is smaller, you can layer that on top as well and get a really good effect. Um, I love it love 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 so have a go give it a go you will love this all the different effects you can get with posca pens and they're really vibrant um yeah 
I wish I was getting some sort of sponsor thing for this, but no, no, it's not at all. I'm, I know I go, I go on and on and on about Posca pens all the time. But you can get other paint pens as well. But so far, I've really liked these ones. I've tried a couple of other paint pens and they're, they're okay. But um, these are the ones I love at the minute. So yeah, use them all the time, especially with the kids' crafts, really good. And uh, yeah, give it a little go, you will love. And keep it for yourself as a nice little desk tidy or something if it's your name or a little uh, paperweight or you can give it as a to a friend as a gift and they would love they would love that because it's personalized it's personal to them and it's with your handiwork too which is a nice little added little bonus also and it will they will hopefully keep that as nice little keepsake forever or the children to their friends as well and to an adult they would love this absolutely love it so yeah get down go down to some craft shops you'll see all the different letters and the little part where there's little wooden blocks and stuff and yeah feel free to grab one and colour it in copy if you wish okay take care and see you in a bit on Kimberly Vickers Kids Art Attack okay like and subscribe thank you bye